Suppose that we have a variable u of a system that can have alpha possible values. Okay, so we have a variable u can assume these values u1, u2, u3, all the way up to u alpha and uh, respective probabilities probabilities corresponding probabilities of having these values will be p1 p2 all the way up to p alpha and how do i define the probability of having a value uh, the probability of having a certain value r is by definition the number of systems in the ensemble that exhibit outcome uh, r divided by total number of systems in the ensemble for a very large ensemble uh, ensemble of and similar systems so um, the probability of having a value u r or u sub r is equal to the relative frequency of occurrence it's the number of systems in an ensemble of n similar systems where n sub r of those systems exhibit the outcome r so this is basically recalling the definition of probability then how do I find the mean value or ensemble average of u? Uh, the definition of the mean value, another name for mean value uh, of u, or we also say ensemble average, ensemble average, of u we show it is denoted by u bar um, this is defined as u bar is equal to is defined as the number of systems in the ensemble that exhibit uh, u1 multiplied by u1 plus number that exhibit u2 multiplied by u2 all the way up to the total number of possibilities alpha the last possible value divided by the total number of systems in the ensemble n so this is a, a summation r equals 1 to alpha n r u r divided by total number of systems in the ensemble and since an r divided by n is the probability r uh, therefore we will see that the definition is u bar is the summation over r from 1 to alpha probability of having a value u r multiplied by the value u r so that's the definition of ensemble average of this variable u we're going to see a concrete example in the next video so, so let's say that i have a function of u so a function of u i'm going to show it uh, as f of u all right then what is the ensemble average or mean value of this function uh, that is by definition summation from r equals 1 to alpha uh, probability of having a value u r multiplied by the function of u sub r so that's how i find the ensemble average of the function of uh, u now um, if i look at another function of u uh, so let's say i have two functions of u of this variable u 
those are f of u and g of u and i want to know what is the ensemble average of f plus g of u if i apply the definition this is r equals 1 to alpha probability of u having a value uh, u, u sub r multiplied by f of u sub r plus g of u sub r so it's a new function f plus g is another function of uh, u right so let's say it's h so it's probability of r h has a value u r so let's call this f plus g is h uh, h is a function of u and i'm applying this definition uh, of the ensemble average of the function h so that's what i have done here and uh, because i can distribute this multiplication of the probability into the summation uh, this can be also written as um, sum r equals 1 to alpha uh, probability of having a value r u, the u sub r multiplied by f of u r plus r equals 1 to alpha probability of having a value u sub r multiplied by g of u sub r but these are nothing but uh, the average ensemble average of f plus the ensemble average of g so i find that if i have two functions of u f plus g ensemble average is f ensemble average plus g ensemble average and indeed the addition and averaging operations uh, commute so i have a commutative uh, relationship uh, for averaging and uh, summation of the functions of u now if i have uh, uh, any constant so let's call c is any constant it's just a number and if i ask myself what is c times f uh, ensemble average that is uh, probability r equals 1 to alpha probability of u having a value r multiplied by this function so c times f I call function m let's say it's m of uh, m is a function of u so that means I'm taking the ensemble average of m of u using this definition again and that's probability of u having a value r uh, multiplied by m having a value u u sub r that is c times f of u sub r it is c times r equals 1 to alpha probability of u having a value r f of u r but that's nothing but the ensemble average of f so i find that if i multiply a function by a constant and take its average it's the uh, ensemble average multiplied by that constant so multiplication by a constant and averaging operations also commute so there's a commutation relation between the two and for a special case if i have f is equal to one then you will see that the ensemble average of a constant is a constant the mean value of a constant is a constant that of course makes sense uh, now finally commutation of averaging and multiplication of functions of statistically independent variables so i have uh, two variables u and v for this system so let's say i have two variables uh, the variable u can assume values u1 u2 all the way up to u alpha and similarly the second variable v can assume assume values uh, v1 v2 all the way up to v beta so alpha possible values for u and beta possible possible values for uh, v 
Now I call P sub R the probability the probability that the value of u is equal to u sub r ps p sub s the probability that v assumes a value v sub s and also u and v are statistically independent variables independent variables now I'm going to ask myself uh, if I have a function of u and a function of v and if I multiply these functions what will be the ensemble average of this multiplication okay so uh, if they are statistically independent now PRS is the joint probability both u is equal to ur and v is equal to vs probability that's the joint probability remember and this probability we have shown is given by the multiplication of the probabilities probability that u has a value ur and probability that v has a value vs now i have uh, functions of u and v so f a function of uh, u I have f of u and then a function of v I have g of v so what I would like to know is if I have f of u multiplied by g of v what is the ensemble average of this well this is by definition r equals 1 to alpha s equals 1 to beta the joint probability prs f u r g v s all right and because it these are statistically independent uh, variables i have to recall that this joint probability of having both values at the same time r and s is given by this relationship so this is going to be equal to uh, summation r equals 1 to alpha summation s equals 1 to beta uh, its probability pr f of ur multiplied with probability ps g of v s now uh, this can be written as summation over r from 1 to alpha because of the distributive uh, property of um, multiplication over addition pr f of ur uh, multiplied with summation s equals 1 to beta p s g of v s but that's nothing but f bar multiplied with g bar so i find that if u and v are statistically independent then you can say the following the function of u multiplied by the function of v ensemble average is the function of u ensemble average multiplied with the function of v ensemble average uh, so that's the conclusion and basically the ensemble averaging and the multiplication operations will commute for two variables uh, that have uh, the property of being statistically independent okay so let's summarize what we said uh, if we have a system that has a variable u uh, and u can have values from u1 u2 u3 all the way up to u alpha 
and each uh, outcome of this uh, variable measurement is has a probability p1 p2 to p alpha where the probability of an outcome r is the number of systems in the ensemble that exhibit outcome r divided by total number of similar systems in the ensemble the mean value or ensemble average value of this variable u is defined as the number that exhibit that outcome multiplied by the outcome added over all possible values divided by total number in the ensemble and we see that because of the definition of probability which is relative frequency of occurrence u bar is uh, summation r equals 1 to alpha p r u r you go through all possible values you can have multiply it by the corresponding probabilities and add them up you will get the ensemble average if you have a function of u uh, then you have to calculate the function of that variable when it assumes a value u sub r multiply it by the probability of having a value u sub r and add over all possible outcomes that gives you the ensemble average of the function if you have two functions of u f of u and g of u then if you um, look at the average value of the summation of the two functions because the sum of the two functions is another function h h of u it will give you the average of this function and it is just equal to ensemble average of f plus ensemble average of g, F, uh, g. averaging and addition operations commute if you multiply the function of u with a constant c then if you take the ensemble average it is c times the ensemble average of f and if f is equal to 1 you see that ensemble average of a constant is a con is the same constant which makes sense and finally if i have two variables of this system u and v and these variables are statistically independent what does that mean if u assumes a certain value u sub r that does not affect the probability that v has a certain value vs they are statistically independent or uncorrelated so i call the probability that u assumes a value u sub r p sub r v assumes a value v sub s p sub s then the joint probability of both u is equal to u sub r v is equal to v sub s we have shown to be equal to the multiplication of the prob individual probabilities p sub r and p sub s now if you have a function of u and a function of v f of u g of v you take the ensemble average of the uh, product of these two functions you find that uh, as we have shown here the ensemble average is the multiplication of the ensemble averages of functions f and g so therefore the ensemble averaging and multiplication operations will commute if the corresponding uh, variables of those functions are statistically independent variables